Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to try and build a router table out of scraps and we've got a few jobs around the house to do. Enjoy. Okay, so I was given this router by a friend of mine who's unable to use it anymore. Uh, I believe it's a cheap one from Lidl's or Audi maybe. Uh, the brand is WorkZone. I have the bigger branded routers like the plunge router but unfortunately it requires you to keep a constant push on the button which for a router table you need both your hands to maneuver the wood. I'm hoping that with this one having an on off switch it will be the perfect tool to um, use in a router table. So I've got into the shed next door, I had a look through my scraps bin and uh, I found a couple of pieces of melamine, a little bit of CLS and hopefully we can knock something up to make a working rat table for free. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna have a top um, for the timber to sit on. I'm gonna try and get three edges um, for strength. It doesn't need to be big, it's only a small router. There's gonna be a little hole cut in the top and uh, that's where the router bit's gonna come through. Sam's gonna help me, aren't you, Sam? You gonna wave? Okay, so this is what I mean I found. This is nice thin stuff. I think this is maybe half inch, maybe an old shelf. Um, I've got this uh, piece here, which is slightly thicker. This is three quarter inch. This is gonna be the top. And I've got a couple of pieces of CLS. Uh, I think this is three by two. Uh, it's nasty, it's cheap, and it's already got lots of screw holes in it. But hopefully we can knock that into a router table. Okay, so this is what we've come up with so far. It's a very simple box. What I'm envisaging now is that I'm gonna rip the CLS down into strips, because uh, it's far too chunky in itself. And we will reinforce these corners here and screw it together nice and tight. And I'm also thinking about a strip along the front here so that I can clamp the box to the front of the workbench here so that when the router is on, it's not gonna be moving around. I'll put you on a bit of time lapse for ripping down the CLS.
Okay, so that's the basic box built. Now this uh, this Pine CLS has been trouble. It's split in several places and uh, really I should have pre-drilled the holes. I should have known better. Okay, so the next step I think is we'll try and find the middle. We'll drill a hole so the router bit can stick through and then somehow work out how to secure the router itself to the underside of the table. Okay guys, this is the finished article. Um, it's a little trickier than expected and I think it's down to the router. With the torque of the router itself, it kept slipping out the base. I really had to tighten it up so that when it's uh, uh, revolving there, it doesn't slip out the base. But it works really well. I've added a, a little hole in the back there so that the cable can go out the back, not knowing that it had to go, that the cable's coming out this way. Ideally, I would have put it over there, but it works really well. Uh, in future, I will be putting on some kind of a guide so that I can do uh, rabbits and dados. But for round over bits, it works absolutely perfect. What I'll do now is I'll put you back onto the tripod and I'll show you how it works. Uh, as expected as well, you do need to clamp it down because pushing into the blade there, it does tend to wander across the table. Yeah, so that's the finished article. Um, it works really well, really happy with it. Didn't cost a penny because I already had all the materials here myself. Uh, hopefully this is gonna be a, a good asset for any kind of future projects I do. Um, with roundover bits especially in it, it's gonna make life a lot easier. Um, thank you for watching. Always remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.